However, now I am joined to be joined by I'm pl- proud to be joined by Hall of Famer Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez, who was a teammate of Miguel Cabrera both in 2003 and 2008. And Yvonne, bienvenidos. Welcome to High Heat. It's always so good to see you and your great looking tan. You're obviously having a lot more fun than we're having. What did you remember about Miguel Cabrera, who made his major league debut in 2003? Well, what I remember from him uh, in 2003, there's this young uh, 19-year-old talented kid that they came to spring training, uh, and uh, and I would start to just basically be uh, be around him. And, and and the great thing that Miguel has since day one is a very good sense of humor uh, person. Obviously, he comes smiling, come happy, and uh, basically since I saw him since day one in spring training. I knew that this kid is going to be super talented. And we brought him in uh, later on, right after the break, uh, uh, when uh, uh, some of the guys got injured and he started to play the outfield. And basically, he just started doing a great job hitting the ball, you know, stay uh, uh, in the ball, getting a lot of discipline at the plate. And, you know, feels like he was in the league for five to 10 years. And, uh, And what he did for us, that year in the playoff uh, means a lot, you know, when he hit the, that opposite field home run against Roger Clement in the playoff after that Roger Clement threw a, threw a baseball home when he's uh, close to his face. He looked at him, as you can see there, and then he just looking at Roger Clement and said, hey, I'm here hitting, and then he fouled it off, fouled some pitches off, and then he hit that, that important home run for us. So since then, I, I said, this kid is going to be incredible and look it's one hit away for three thousands and not even that i mean the extra base hit the doubles that he has the career they has multiple uh triple count crown winner uh is amazing so for me very happy just to to see him uh you know getting this three thousand and hit uh, um, i think he's a little anxious the last couple of games but uh, <laughs> he can get it done today and moving on yeah, you mentioned the uh, seven pitch at bat against Roger Clemens. He ends up going with a two run home run the opposite direction. I mean, to be able to have that much poise as a young player when you're facing Roger Clemens on the mound, what was it about Miguel's presence and his ability to kind of block out who was on the hill and just play his game? Well, I think it's his discipline as a, uh, on the plate. Uh, the reason that he that we brought him to the big league is because all the all the all the good job that he did in AAA and basically his approach uh, inside out hitter stay inside of the ball really good not strike out uh, too much and basically that's what he did when he came to uh, to the big league you know uh, he start uh, his major league career as a left fielder and then moved to third base when Mikey Lowe got hurt and then moved to first. Uh, but a lot of people don't don't realize that Miguel is also a great defender. He's not only a great hitter, but as playing on the field, he was a great left fielder, great third baseman, and a good uh, first baseman as well. So in all this the aspect of the game, to me, is a, is a 5-2 plus player for me when he came in the league uh, and through his career. But uh, but now, but now you know, as a hitter, obviously he's a uh, he's a very smart hitter. He uh, he studied the game a lot. He goes to the video room, see a lot of a lot of pitches, and make adjustments doing the at bat. That's one of the great things that Miguel uh, does. He just not uh, going to the same approach for the whole entire at bat. He make adjustment in every single pitcher the pitcher throws to him. Yeah, hopefully he'll make history today. Certainly going to happen this week. And maybe when he's done with his baseball career, Ivan, he can he can join you on the golf course. Tell me a little bit about this Club Corp Classic that you're playing in. Uh, some big celebrities and some big money at stake. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, we've been. This is our second that we play for the year. Uh, we enjoy this a lot. Obviously, we, it's a it's a fun event. And now you know we're able just to to play with uh, with some champion uh, tour players, I mean, PGA players, you know, like uh, Colin Montgomery, you know, El Niels, all these great names 
they played this game for such a great, long time and also uh, our celebrities. So looking forward to spend three days um, getting ready in a few managers to play uh, a, pro, uh, a pro-am round with some uh, sponsors. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's great. I can't wait to just go out there. Uh, this is a course that I was a member for eight years when I lived here in, my, in, in <laughs> Dallas. And so I know the course well. You know, they changed it a little bit a couple of years ago. Completely. <laughs> I'm looking forward to have fun, which is the most important thing. And basically just to, uh, to help the foundation that this, this tournament is going to be helped. So looking forward to... Uh, spent three great days with this greatest game uh, player who played this game and looking forward to it. All right, 54 holes over the Las Colinas golf course there in Dallas, Texas. Enjoy it. Hit it long, hit it straight, and uh, hopefully your short game is good as well. Yvonne Hall of Fame Rodriguez, thanks so much for being with us.